Go ahead and intro. Yeah, these are for canvases. Hey everybody, how are you? Welcome to another Art Talk Tuesday with Jackie G. So glad to see all of you. For those of you that don't know me, our company is Gwartzman's Art Supplies. We're here in Toronto and we're located uh, between Kensington Market and Chinatown. So if you're ever downtown, please stop in and say hi. We've been in our location for over 75 years and we've been in art materials for over 50. So it's always exciting and always great to share with all of you. Now, it's 2023. Oh my goodness. Who would have thought? Who could have thought? And yet we, here we are. Uh, of course, not to change things. Happy New Year. We have people coming in all the time. Um, so I just wanted to, you know, say hi. 2022 is all done. I hope you all had a great year. We had a great year. I have to say the last two weeks of 2022, I would love to forget about. <coughs> and you'll forgive me if I cough because I'm still getting over it. Unfortunately, that's why I didn't, you didn't see me for the last two weeks because uh, I didn't have much of a voice. So if it tends to go in and out today, you'll still understand I'm trying to still get back to somewhat normal. So you'll notice that today I match a lot of the things that are on the table. Today's going to be nice, short and sweet, considering we've only just started with 2023. I don't have a lot of things to tell you about. There will be a lot of things to talk about in the near future. But today is just to sort of reconnect and uh, say hi again and sort of chat with all of you and let you know that I've been thinking about you since I lost my voice uh, almost two and a half weeks ago. So, um, first thing I want to say is, uh, again, welcome. And if you have any questions or anything or comments uh, while we're chatting, you know, just type it in and Hannah will let me know. I'm waving to everybody. So anybody connecting with us all across Canada, United States and beyond. Hi, so nice to see all of you, although I can't really see you, but I know that you're out there and, I'm, and thank you very much for connecting with us. And by the way, connect with us. Uh, follow us on Instagram. We also are on YouTube. We're on Facebook. We're on all social media. You can check out our website, wartsmans.com. There's always cool stuff going on. I promise you this year there's going to be more articles. Hannah and I have been talking about it, some great ideas that I have on things I want to tell you about and let you know about some of the brands that you've probably used for many and not even know about the company or anything else about the product. Um, so you'll, uh, and by the way, just in case you're still uh, paying attention while I'm talking, because I couldn't end the year with a, a surprise, we are going to have a surprise at the end of today. So for all of you that are following, and I'm not going to tell you when I'm going to stop talking, so that's where you'll just have to follow me. Um, so last year, I think I talked about trends, trends that I saw in product, trends that I saw in color. And specifically, I had mentioned that one of the colors that I saw that was very strong with our customers and purchases and things like that, things that I saw in the artwork was the magenta color. So I thought of quinacridone magenta, quinacridone pink. You know, there's so many different shades that our suppliers use. And who knew? I mean, I didn't, but obviously they were listening to me. Uh, Pantone. Pantone color of the year for 2023 is called Viva Magenta. So I started to pull out, we pulled out a lot of the products that we have that relate to the color magenta. I wanted to read you their description of it. I thought it was quite interesting uh, because I'm not exactly sure in some ways it, it, en it encapsulates actually all the different colors or shades of magenta that I think you're all familiar with. Uh, so they call it it vibrates with vim and vigor. It is a shade rooted in, nat in nature, descending from the red family, and expressive of a new signal of strength. Well, I think for 2023, we're all gonna need that. It's brave and fearless and a pulsating color whose exuberance promotes a joyous and optimistic celebration, writing a new narrative. Well, sounds great to me. One thing that they use from the, uh, uh, that they derive the color from, and I'm probably gonna not pronounce it properly because I know how to read it, is the cochineal beetle. 
And for us in art materials, that, that beetle was used to make the color carmine. The funny thing is most of our suppliers don't use the, the uh, beetle anymore. Carmine is now more of a synthetic color. But the carmine was this intense, uh, very often transparent red. And it did have a, a tone of pink to it. The only other problem with that color was it was extremely fugitive. So I'm kind of glad that they didn't continue on uh, expressing that that's what the color was based on. So we went through all of our products to show you that in every range possible, whether it be printmaking, lock printing, whether you go into any of the brands of acrylics, oils, watercolors, every brand of watercolor, inks, our brush handles, our pens. If you go into oils, oh, you can get some beautiful ranges of the magentas in your oil paints. Uh, even in the pads, if you're looking for some kind of inspiration, there is definitely something within that category. Now, whether you go with either a primary magenta, magenta, quinacridone magenta, quinacridone pink, uh, it is endless on the shades that you can get. Sometimes it's also used as a primary color for mixing, depending on the uh, palette that you're using. Uh, so I think you have so many options to include that into your palette this year. I love color. You can tell I tried to match what we were talking about today. You know from in past I will try and wear a lot of color. That was always my thing. I love color. I'm so glad that they've picked a nice bright color to introduce for 2023. So just to tell you about what we're planning for this year, um, we are, you know that I have the uh, Art Talk Tuesday. Sometimes we have guests. I'm starting to formulate all my different guests that I'd love to have on this year. Uh, there's going to be all different types, so it won't necessarily be only suppliers. I'm hoping to have chats with artists, uh, people in the industry, just to keep things interesting. It could be in someone's studio, it could be here. We're going to try some different venues if possible. I mean, it's the beginning of 2023, so I can make lots of plans. Um, we are also going to be doing more videos, we hope. Uh, we're trying to come up with new ideas, new ways to connect with you. Uh, as I say, I'm going to be writing more articles. Of course, we're going to be expanding our product line. I'm always looking for new products. I have some really great ideas. Uh, there was an article recently about how people are looking to now do something with their hands again because they, I guess, while we were all shut down or sick or whatever, that we were tending to look at our computers more and now people are getting fidgety and want to try something. Well, goodness knows we have a whole store full of stuff that you can, you know, use with your hands, but we're going to look at some new ideas on making it easier for you to try something new, something that you may not have thought about. And of course, if you ever need suggestions, you know, get in touch with us get in touch with us. Either any of our staff can help you out or if you stop in and you want to chat with us and find out about something that you can you know try or add or anything and you can keep it very simple. Our whole idea is we just want you to do it. It doesn't need to be fancy or expensive or you know difficult to use. There's lots of stuff out there that you can use that's really great to try. Um, so again you can follow us uh, there'll be new products coming up in the next little while. Um, as I say, today is very, very short and sweet. And I just really wanted to connect with you all again. And I say I felt terrible having to be at home and uh, not being able to really talk to anybody. But it's so great to be back and so excited about for the new year. So here's a surprise. So any of you that were paying attention, we are giving away, this time, three gift cards worth $50. So... This is only on uh, by Instagram. It has to be after the finish of when I, st I stop speaking. What is the name of the Pantone color of the year? It is two words, so you have to write both words. And it will be for three $50 gift cards, one for, well, three different people. You can type it in after I finish speaking, so don't type it in yet. So that gives Hannah time to get ready. And we look forward to connecting with you in the new year. And check in again. You know, let us know what you're doing. I always love to hear what people are up to and uh, just to keep in 
you know, in time with what's going on. And I look forward to seeing you again next week. We may have some new things to talk about then and show you some new product. So again, have a great day, have a great week, and please keep on creating. Happy New Year!